Hi, hello, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Melanie. If you'd like to get to know me a little bit better, all my social media links are always linked down below, so be sure to check them out. If you're interested in seeing how I how I do how I'm doing, I was gonna be like, wow, but I don't I've been really bad with posting. It's just been university has been killing me and I look like a 12-year-old boy half the time, and I'm like, I've just come off like a whole modal roller coaster. So I am looking a bit rough. But I am so excited for today's video in preparation for the spinning of the wheel. I still I don't want to use the exact same name that Cody uses, so I'm still trying to think of something quippy and fun. I'm still kind of deciding on what to call that series without being, you know, a complete copycat. But in preparation for that and like the possible prompts that I'm having that I have in my little prompt pile. I need to do a couple of things. One of those things is to take all of my TBR books, put them onto a good reach shelf, which I'm doing. It's, take, it's gonna take me a while because I have to go and individually add them. Um, <laughs> uh, and then the other part is that I need to do a five star predictions, which I'm so excited. I've just quickly gone through like just the, the three shelves that are like right on this wall and just went ahead and chose some books that I think that I really end up loving just because I, I know how much I like the authors or I know how much I like the type of story that it is. So I'm so excited to talk about these books with you. If you have read these, please let me know what you've thought. If you are like, the, those books are absolute trash, you, you need to let me know. It's very important for me to be like well informed. So far, I've seen that a lot of people are loving these, so that's what I'm going on, as well as once again, my personal taste. So let's just jump on straight on into it. I'm so excited, as I mentioned. Ah. So the first, the first book that I have here is Angel Mage by Garth Nix. I have actually not read anything by him. I did try to read Sabriel, but I think I wasn't old enough to read it in the sense that my young brain was like, eee. But I really want to reread that series at one point, and I think it might be interesting. I've heard nothing but amazing things about Angel Mage, which is his new series. And this is quite, this is a chunky girl okay it's it she chunky the next book that i have here is a throne of swans by Catherine and elizabeth cole i have actually read the first book in their witches something series it's like the witches kiss the witches tears the witches blood the witches blood the witches kiss it, either way that series and whilst i wasn't completely in love i've been hearing amazing things about this series so far and look how pretty this is an epic story about broken loyalties hidden secrets and daring courage so I'm really excited and according to hot key books, they shape shift this betrayal, bravery, and love. Things I do enjoy. Next book I have here is The Bear and the Nightingale by Catherine Arden. This is something that's been on my TBR for a hot minute. And it's one that I definitely think I'll enjoy, not only based on what other people have said, but based on what I've read here. And I do have the other two books in the series as well. So the moment I can start this, the moment I can get to the rest of them. I also then have Dividing Eden by Joel... Shabano. I've heard great things about this, so I'm really excited. I've also heard really good things from my friend Abby, Abby the Bibliophile. I have a link down below. She's incredible, Ugh, amazing friend. And um, she read this recently and she said she quite enjoyed it, so I believe I too will quite enjoy it since we have really similar taste most of the time. Most of the time we do. The next book we have here, you'll see that a lot of these books are fantasy or not really contemporary and have an extra element of magic or magic realism or something along those lines. That's because I intend to read mostly those. Um, so the next one is The Queens of Innes Lear by Tessa Grattan. I bought this a while ago and I believe this is a series. So I'm really excited. This is also just such a beautiful cover. And apparently I did try to read it once with a bookmark in here that I, I did not start. But I'm really excited. I heard it's a series. I've heard nothing but great things about it, so I can't jump. I can't wait to jump into this. So many books I can't wait to jump in. And the more I read about them and like the synopses, I'm like, <laughs> I'm, I'm wanting to pick you up. But then I'm like, responsibility, which I'm not a big fan of, and university, and <laughs> shush, ruins my dreams. The next book I have here is Hexen's Binding by Jacob Wallace. I've read the first book. I was supposed to read this last year, and I was so amped to read it. But I didn't. This follows out my favorite character, Bryden, who kind of, um, she's a witch. Uh, I don't think they called them witches. They called Hexens in, in this, this story. And she has Hexens magic and she kind of goes to discover prophecy and all of these things. And it's just, it was amazing. So I still need to buy the, the physical copy of it. It's just, it's very expensive. 
um but i really i need to continue and finishing and finish it because i really want to read this i won't give you much more than that just because mm. but just know i've read hexen's crass twice in the beginning i gave it four and a half and when i read it the second time which usually the second time means you like it less because you know in between that you usually read more i upped my ranking to five stars so please keep that in mind the next book i have here is the queen of the cheering by e Erica, I thought it was actually EK, but Erica Johansson. This was apparently optioned for film, and it just, it was just never with Emma. Emma Stone was set to play Kelsey. Hasn't happened yet. Probably had something going on there, but I've heard amazing things, and I think this was up my alley. The next book I have here is The Fever King by Victoria Lee. I was kind of gifted this by Mika from The Maths That Reads. I'll also have her linked down below. She's really great. And, um, this is one of her favorite books from last year and I've actually received the Electric Air um, from NBC books and they're kind of promoting it and I think it's, it's coming out pretty soon so I'm hoping to get into this quite soon. The next book I have on here is The Girl King by Mimi Yu. This is something that I just, the moment I read the synopsis, I was like, this I must have. And then the last book, which I also think I am going to absolutely love but it's going to take me a million years to read is The Priory of the Orange Tree by Samantha Shannon. I did try to read it last year. I got like, you can actually see how far I got. I still have my, I got like 65 pages into it. It was just too much at the time. I was reading it around exams and it just was too much for my brain to go, who? But apparently it's got an amazing queer romance and it's just got some amazing world building. And I mean, like, look at this monster of a book. I'm really excited. I read quite far into it. You know, you wouldn't think so, but it, it's quite, it's quite a hefty chunk. If you look like that would have been a hefty chunk. It's quite a bit of a piece. And I was quite intrigued by what I read, so I hope to continue it. I'll probably end up restarting it, but I definitely think that once I'm done with this, I will definitely be giving it a 5 out of 5. These are all the books that I think personally will be 5 star predictions for me. I think I'm going to absolutely love reading them to bits, and I can't wait to actually see if that ends up happening. Be sure to stay tuned in for vlogs and the spinning of my TBR wheel thing for all of that information to see if I actually end up picking one of these and if five star predictions come up because that would be great. So yes, thank you so much for watching today's video. It is kind of haphazard and very badly pronounced and English is not my strong suit apparently right now. So we're just gonna embrace it. And thank you so much for watching and please let me know down below in the comments if you have read any of these books or you would like to read any of these and I will see you in the next video.